What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the new War Robots single player mode. The latest version of it, where we have increased difficulty, we have a Rogatka and a Hellburner, and I have uh, no idea how this is going to work. Okay, so for now, at least, it seems we're starting with the Rogatka, and if I've learned one thing, is that the flamethrowers are definitely the best choice. Um, the more kills you make in the single player mode, the more points you get. So, um, also, you see the enemies are actually walking in circles. They're not just walking straight at us anymore. Interesting. Okay, so they're really improving uh, the difficulty here further and further. It will be difficult for me to hit from up here with these flamethrowers. Oh, wait a minute. They don't have the area effect. Oh, no, no they, they do. Okay. So, uh, also, there's already some, uh, some enemies spawning in. Ooh, nice. That's a good triple quadro hit here. Ooh, jump away. Oh my goodness, I'm too slow. Oh, I'm gonna get hit now. I'm gonna get hit. Oh, come on. Yes. Whoa. The more kills you do, the better score you get, the more rewards you'll get. Because apparently, you can play the single player mode also um, to get yourself some, some resources. Maybe you can actually play single player for resources then. That would be really cool. So I'm hitting something over there. I don't know what I'm hitting. Uh, this guy going down, come on, yes, nice. Okay, reloading the flamethrowers. We got 23 kills so far, we got three minutes left on the clock. Come on, die, yeah. I also want to kill the ones that are firing, uh, Zenith's at me. Cause you, s you know there are, uh oh. Oh, that's bad. There are those who fire Zenith at you. Uh oh, they're starting to hit me now. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. There's really close on me now. Woo! Okay, is this a Sinead, guys? Thankfully, I can jump. That gives me a little advantage over these little spiderlings. Uh, this guy is coming in closer. He's dodging. He's a dodgy one. All right, enough with the Sinead's already. Look at this. There's this little largest spiders firing Sinead's. They never hit me before, so they're really not that effective. We got three minutes left. Um, I want to also show you some other weapons. Oh my god, look how many there are. Look how many there are, dude. They're all following me over here. Uh-oh. Jumping away. Now I should be able to kill them really fast. Now they're all in, in one level. Look at this. Ooh, yeah, they're all going down. Yes. Uh-oh. Come on, targeting system. Don't do this to me. Ah, jump. I got 61 kills. How much can we get? The flamethrower is probably the best thing we have for it. And they're all coming around the corner there. Yes. Take it. Take it. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he's still alive. That was not how I wanted this. Come on, die. Die, Spiderling. Okay, here we go. I want the guys with, um... What's the difficulty increase, though? By the way, if you jump up, you can't actually hit... Uh, hit these things when you're in the air. So jumping isn't exactly the best solution all the time. Because the if you have an alt uh, altitude difference... Something is coming in from behind, too. I see the arrow indicator. There it is. Taking this guy out first. Nice. 80 kills. 115 would be a new, a new record, I guess, that we can achieve for ourselves here. Um, we might have a chance to do this. Targeting system is really making it difficult sometimes. It's like the, 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 the end boss is the targeting system here. Come on, come around the corner, guys. Come on. Yes, yes. You all day get that nice flamethrower stuff in your face. Yeah. You little spiderlings. You guy, you ain't got oh, no chance. I need 15 more kills and then I have uh, the 115 uh, bonus achieved. So let's get this guy. Then these champs. Yeah, they're going down fast. Imagine you could kill players like this so easily. I could try to lure them back into my little trap here. Uh-oh, I'm really close to them now. 
That seems to work, though. Very nice. Oof, jump. Uh, do the bigger one count more? I wonder. 200... Okay, I think we have achieved the highest uh, you can achieve. At least there doesn't seem to be any more... Uh, any more stats. So, let's see what we got for this. Um, it costs apparently one H... Uh, one AU to, to play the mode. But you can win power cells and gold. Oh, and you win the amount of gold that you achieve. I just got 125 gold for my two, uh, 130 kills. I got 130 kills. And 125 apparently was the highest gift you can get. If you could kill 500, you would still get, I think, only 125. I would assume. I think that is the highest amount you can achieve. So even a cheater who teleports around the map and just ruins these things, 10,000 10, of them, he would also only get 125 gold. And then he would get banned. Um, I, oh man, we've gotten so many banned. Uh, but yeah, so a, a good reward. We got power cells and gold. And you don't even need power cells because you're not playing your own robots, right? We did 2 million damage here. Um, let's see if we get another map and if we have another mode. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see the gameplay videos with this completely insane new Heimdall here with a, penta a Pantag rule, uh, then the new Grand Balanced Reactor, the new Armadillo drone, the new Northlight battleship, the new nerfed content of the Smuta, check out in the top right corner or yesterday's video for the test server summary. It's a big video summarizing all those changes for you, if you haven't yet seen this. So boost is unavailable, doesn't affect your rating. Let's see if we can get onto a different map with a different uh, robot. Oh no, it's gonna be the same robot. I know that the ro the, the Orcans will be a joke. We're gonna test this, but I can tell you already the, jo the Orcans will be a joke. Unless they improve them, because I've read somewhere that some weapons apparently have been improved somewhat. Uh, or some, some elements might be different than on the live server. Okay. Yeah, I feel like we can fire longer with the Orcans. But maybe I'm maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. Yeah, look, they, they seem to be recharging faster, do they? I think we would be empty a long time ago if it was the real Orcans from the live server. So they're actually better now. Why aren't they doing this on the live server? Because the Orcans are the, the worst weapon in the game right now, pretty much. Although they should be... Come on, targeting system! The guy's right in front of me! Oh, did you see that? Yeah, look how fast they charge! That's not how fast the Orcans normally charge. Look, this is just two Orcans firing no normal simultaneously. I can constantly fire like this. This is my firepower all the time. Uh, th I think they should do this on the live server. Maybe, maybe a little bit less fast reloading, but some something like this. Because right now the Orcans are such a joke. Also, remember, Orcans are not only nerfed because of the nerf of the Orcans. Or the, the biggest nerf for the Orcans, or one of the biggest Orcan nerfs, was the fact that these pop-up shields ruin the firepower. Right? All your load that you fire... It goes on and it goes into nowhere because uh, the, the the drone shields pop up and uh, and eat half your entire salvo that you fired, and that's really not cool. That's one of the reasons why um, why Orcans are so incredibly useless nowadays, right? It's it, it, it's it got hit so many times by so many nerfs simultaneously that there's no point to running them anymore. And uh, this here would would help them. Yeah, I wonder what the other weapon is like. Uh, that would be Tulumbas. Yeah, we're gonna test Tulumbas too. <laughs> Run, you little, you little things. I got 55 kills so far, but it seems like it's a little more difficult. It's cool though to splash right into the middle and hit so many things at the same time. Um, I don't think I'll be getting as many kills as I did with the. Uh, with the uh, flamethrowers, though. I feel like the flamethrowers may still have done the, the better job performance-wise. Come on. Die. Okay, jumping away. Back into safety. Thankfully, I know the map by heart. I don't need to look at behind me to know what's behind me. And then, uh, which is nothing. 
Don't want to jump into the wall. It's really cool to see the splash damage taking effect like this. So let me test the the, um, the Tolumbas too, right? I'm going to swap into the Tolumba robot now. Uh, just to test this. Okay, big splash damage. Also really fast recharge on the Tolumbas. Look. Oh my god, if they made Tolumbas like this on the live server. Look at this. Dude, you can constantly fire the Tolumbas. This is so nuts. And they have a massive splash radius, way larger than the splash damage. Let's get hit by the enemy uh, weapons. I've never been hit by those uh, Senites. I want to see how much damage they do. Uh, they can't hit me here. I need to change position. We have 500 meters range on those things. That's also pretty cool. So here, I'm standing. I'm standing still. How much damage do they do? Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Yeah, they're doing some damage. Yeah, 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 they're hitting. By the way, they're in range. I can actually hit them at this range. Easy. And now just triple quadru ultra mega splashing in there. This is something I love also about War Robots. I, you know, I told you this. I am a rocket guy. I love rockets in the game. I always did. And, uh, and unfortunately, though, the meta has shifted away from rockets. They're no more useful, uh, because mostly because of those ab absorber shield pop-ups. Also because of the nerf. The firepower is under freaking... It's just... The, the lo reload time is just completely impossible. It's, it's unacceptable. The reload time is unacceptable. Can they hit me through walls, by the way? I think they don't hit you through walls. Yeah. Well, I've gotten... Oh, no, I think one kill was missing. I think I was down one kill for the 125 gold, was I? Yeah, I got 100... No, actually, wait, I did get 125 gold still. I didn't get 125 kills. There was one kill missing. Ah, interesting. Maybe they were... Maybe they felt um, I deserve that extra point. Anyways, uh, that is the new game mode. Uh, I really like it. However, there, we need to we need more variety of enemies. We need a higher enemy variety. Like so many. We need so many. We need bosses. We need uh, tiny mini things like the spiders. Then more more faster flying things that come at you um, that shoot a little bit at you with little machine guns. Don't do too much damage. Maybe they aren't accurate. Maybe they fire really slow and you can dodge the bullets uh, or something. Um, we need we need stealth things that come from from a f that that only become visible. Uh, when they get close enough to you, uh, like when they get like 120 meters or 200 meters in, in front of you, then they only decloak, and until then you can only see them, um, you can only hit them when you hit them with something else. I don't know. You know, it's, I'm just spinning a few, a, a few ideas here. We need a huge variety. This needs to be like a freaking uh, horror game. There's so many things coming at you from different directions and angles and maybe maybe teleports this on the valley No on the on the abyss map where you can use teleports to escape enemies and on the valley map It's more difficult because they have more enemy types that are really crawling in from different angles And you need to use the teleports in order to stay alive if you don't you have no chance, you know there, uh, There's so many cool ideas that you could do also if they implement this in a way where you can really play single-player if you're having a bad connection right now, or if you just don't want to play and competitive right now, then just go single player and play your points, get, earn silver, earn something uh, using sing single player. Would be cool, right? Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of room for improvements, obviously, since this is still the beginning of this whole thing. But I love it already, and I hope you guys do too. Tell me what you think about this game mode. I'm, I'm stoked. I, I like the idea of having a single player mode for War Robots. It's cool. Although, of course, we have other things that need to be done too and fixed, like the lags that we have. Some crashes that happen not only on emulators but also on mobile uh, and uh, so very important things that need to be <clears throat> tackled but I'm probably I'm hoping Pixonic's on it I think they are by the way do you notice that the weapons on the Heimdall are not correctly mounted the left one and this one are correct this one maybe too but this one sticks into the Heimdall that's weird isn't it yeah look I just noticed that it's just, it's not symmetrical huh uh, but that's just so something, some bug on the test server, right? It's not, it's not on the regular server like this. 
I think I would have noticed that. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Have a good one. Catch you in the next videos. And uh, yeah, stay ready for the next giveaway too. The most expensive item in the entire game of War Robots that I'll be giving away. So you don't want to miss out on this. See you then. Bye-bye.